The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. Hey, have you ever heard the phrase, dark as night? When we talk about darkness, we usually just mean dim white. At nighttime, there's a nightlight by your bed, a hall light on somewhere. Maybe a light over the kitchen sink when you get a drink. If you step outside at night, there's a porch light. Street lights probably mark the way through your neighborhood. And if you live in or near a city, the sky itself glows at night. Even if the power goes out, there's always a flashlight or phone light handy. But now, I want you to think about a time before electricity. The time when Jesus walked the earth. The sun is slowly setting. It dips closer and closer to the horizon. And then suddenly, it's dark. Really dark. <sighs> Deep pitch black. So dark, you can't even see your own fingers wiggling in front of your face. There's no light switch to flip. But if you're prepared, you can light a lamp. Whoa, that's better. Oh, in Jesus' time, many homes had small lamps like these that burned oil drawn up through the wick. Now, you can't get much done around the house holding an open flame in one hand, so in the main room of these houses, you would find a lamp stand. Now the whole room is lit up, not just for you, but for everyone else. Imagine in the same way you have several houses. A town, each home lighting a lamp one by one. Soon, that whole city glows with light. And if that city is high up on a hill, it becomes a bright beacon of light for travelers caught out in the dark night. Immediately, they can see a safe place and set their course in the right direction. Okay, now, with all that in mind, Listen to what Jesus told a group of his followers as he sat up on a hillside. You are the light of the world. Think about that. In a very, very dark world, you are like a lamp that allows others to see. Just like the moon reflects the sun, you can shine Jesus' goodness and light to brighten the world around you. You shine light with acts of kindness and compassion. You shine light when you choose joy in tough situations. You shine light when you make peace while others are taking sides. Jesus went on to say, A town built on a hill can't be hidden. Also, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Now, you may be wondering just how far your small light can shine, but thankfully, none of us is called to spread light on our own. Each of us is designed to reflect a specific part of who God is. When we reflect God's light through acts of goodness, our small point of light joins up with light reflected by other Jesus followers in our neighborhoods, towns, cities, countries, all across the world. So whenever the world seems dark, remember what Jesus has already said is true about you. You are the light of the world. And with the power of God's Spirit, you can spread the light of God's goodness anywhere you are and anywhere you go.